Etruscan Mask is a supernatural horror film having to do with an uh, ancient artifact, a uh, helmet from Etruria that um, has been dug up and sold to a wealthy collector. And this mask happens to be possessed by an ancient Etruscan demon named Thonos. When the mask is put on someone's head, the demon is able to enter their body and possess them. Now, six years after it was first discovered, He's used up the body of Samuel Powell, the man who bought the mask in the first place, and now is seeking some new person to uh, possess. And it comes in contact with a group of young American and Italian art students who are living in Siena and gradually pulls them into its web. A year and a half ago, I received a phone call from a friend of mine, Roberto Bessi, who's a film producer who actually was a production executive on my very first film, Terrorvision, and uh, had later hired me to direct some episodes of an Italian TV series, Lucky Luke. And Roberto had an idea to do a series of horror films based on the on history of Italy or based in some of the most beautiful places of Italy, and felt like that could be a very successful series and asked me to get involved with the very first one, the Etruscan Mask. Roberto had been in contact with Lattice Zanini, who uh, is one of the owners of Fargo Film here in Torino, and basically put the film together uh, as a production that we could shoot here as an experiment to see if it's possible to continue shooting like this series of horror films. We scouted locations here in Torino and in the nearby cities to double for Siena because Siena is a very difficult place to shoot. And we also found some phenomenal locations here as the Victory Palace where we shot the exterior of Samuel Powell's apartment and the interior actually also in a little old lady's apartment that was just, we kind of walked in and went, oh my God, this is Sam Powell's apartment. <laughs> When I first came to Italy and we started meeting about what format we'd actually shoot the film on, the possibilities were 35 millimeter, 16 millimeter, or HD. And the director of photography, Paolo Ferrari, is a great proponent of HD. And in fact, most of the movies he's shot have been on digital video. From my selfish point of view, to shoot on HD is a great thing because the tape is so inexpensive that you're free to shoot as much as you want. Oh, mamma mia!